Hey, yes. Okay, it's like Stay that. back where you were. No. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Just gonna take a selfie. Thanks, Steve. It's a uh, camp. Wow. It actually has some haunted objects in there. Yeah, Baboon head. Oh, that's pretty creepy. It's called a shadow doll. This doll was used to curse a person. What? What is this thing? A fire doll. Look at Haley Reese cleaning up her throat. <laughs> okay, I'm joining in then. I'm joining in. No, we accidentally spilled Tiffany's drink and they're like fighting over who's going to clean it up. <laughs> Tiffany was road drinking. <laughs> no, it was not even or she wished Sylvia. she was. It was mainly just water. At <laughs> and then she met Haley. It was Haley worth the hug, Haley. though. It was worth the hug. <laughs> I, I'm gonna demonstate what Tiffany did. Here, where's I gotta the, keep no, you guys. Where's I gotta keep you guys around so like no. she wipes the floor. Wait, was she holding a drink? I was no, holding a drink. No, it was me. It was but her me. hand came down and slapped it down. It was okay. Yeah, me. it was me. Oh wait, so. There's a whole nother drink spilled over there. What? Well, for that you. was one like a, a like well, that was ten steps. No, it was like, you. I saw it. No, that was so no, 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 right here. Was. Here it is. It right was. here. Look. It looks exactly the same. All right. This is what happened. Tiffany's holding her drink, Wait. and she sees Haley like thirty feet away, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and like I see the drink spilling everywhere. It's basically Perhaps. water at this point but, because no, it just got water now. <laughs> And then Haley did a finish him move. Pull the heart out. I think I got your phone. Huh, I'm going to go look through it. What's, what's going on in here? Oh, it's got the passcode. So Haley Reese, you may remember her from a video that we did a while back. And there was people saying that, they were fake. that her scars were fake from when she got scratched the one night at the hospital. They're real. They're that happened, what, three years ago? Three years ago, yeah. Or four years ago. It was a while back. They're still but there. They were 100% real. People were like, it was makeup. Oh, they were like, good, good job with special effects. I'm like, girl, first of all, if I did special effects, I'd do better than that. And weren't you going on a vacation the following day? I went to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> That's I went to Mexico on a cruise. Right, right, right. And I had them. And my dad's like, Haley, stop saying that like you were cut on a like haunted adventure. I'm like, Dad. It's you were reality. though. Yeah. Still like, there. I feel so bad for you. They're like still there. But you know it's, it looks I better. Them. It looks better. I mean, it's been like five years. <laughs> yeah. Been a while. <laughs> So this is Kayla, what, it's, it, that was maybe two hours ago yeah, that that happened? Yeah, about that, yeah. And I don't see any scratches anymore. Okay, in case you didn't know, I was at this event. It was called Phantasm, hosted by the Warren Museum. You know, Ed and Lorraine Warren, Conjuring Movies, Annabelle, things like that. Now, me personally, I do not mess with Annabelle. I respect her a lot. I respect the occult. Most importantly, I respect God. I have to add a little bit of context to this story. If not, it's not going to make much sense. We were in this area where all these haunted dolls were, including Annabelle. I was about maybe 10 to 12 feet away. This fam comes up to talk to me and she's sharing this cool story about a haunting that she had. As she's telling me this story, I start seeing what looks like markings on her neck that almost seemed like they were there, but they were getting more vibrant and dark. I thought maybe she was getting some sort of allergy, you know, reaction to something. And I asked her about it. I'm like, hey, what's going on with your neck? She looks with her phone really quick and she starts automatically freaking out. She was like, oh my God, that wasn't there. She has scratch marks appearing on her neck while she's telling me the story about a haunting, which by the way, had nothing to do with Annabelle, but we were in the same room as Annabelle. At the moment, I did not put two and two together. I didn't think that maybe it was connected to Annabelle. And honestly, that's just kind of my assumption. It could be connected to something else in that room. There was other haunted objects in that room that I did kind of share with you. Now, what really messed me up was not long after we spoke, I mean, maybe like 20 minutes later, you could start seeing that these markings on her neck were just slowly disappearing. They were kind of still there, but an hour and a half later, I met up with her even a third time, and they were completely gone. Like, they're completely gone. And yeah, and I mean, I could look back at the phone and tell you the exact time, because it's 11.07 now, so... And that was at 9.35. What do you think that was? I mean, maybe she scratched herself without realizing it. Oh, look, she's got no something. nails. I mean, I don't know. Oh, you don't have nails. Yeah. yeah. That's what was so weird. Yeah. Were you standing next to something? We were in front of Annabelle. 
it's weird because er, when I went by Annabelle earlier, like the first time I went by her, I got so nauseous and light headed really? and dizzy. And I mean, I'm a big guy, so I yeah. kind of sweat, but I mean, it was, I was pouring sweat. Girl, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. You're gonna. <laughs> Have you not heard the stories? Look at this. Look at Poppers. Oh my god, wait, stay still so they can sign you, baby. Stay still, I know. Oh, she gave Yasko a nice little licking. Oh, yeah. Oh, Apparently, this is the most love. You want to get her? We'll try. We'll try, yeah. You are so pretty. I'm not going to lie, if I see this in a vlog, I'll start laughing. Really? <laughs> well, I saw I saw Josh's from last year, and I was like, oh, hey, look, I'm all these people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got Josh here. Hi. And a whole lot of other cool people Hi. here. I really like your hair. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it cost me a lot of money. There we go, got it. How Thank cute. <laughs> I gave her a treat, so she's like my best friend. Now. Okay, I think she really likes the highlighter green color, like chartreuse. It like matches her shoes, matches her hair, and we just hooked her up with some graffiti here on her shoe. I, I feel bad for doing that. Like this well, is so brand care. new. It's cool. I priceless. They're now priceless. Okay, now you got to get everybody to sign the other one and then oh. just leave that one. Oh, I could. I'm oh, just kidding. I could. He's got the knife and everything. What? That's awesome. What, what'd you get? I got. I got some too. Okay. Uh, this is like a little thingy. I don't know what to call this. It looks like a little big planet. Right? That's what we That's were just saying. We were just saying that. Oh, I, I got a little ghost. There's a lady over there selling these yarn things, but for like schlongs. Did you see it? I Where? did not. I swear. It's like one of these boots over here. I can't come back now. Right? We just got here. Yeah. He's kidding. All right. I'm here with Kristen. And look, my eyes are like a little teary-eyed right now because uh, Liam, five-year-old, said hey can you give this to omar because you know he lost his macy and oh thank you liam love you and we love omar and tiffany oh yeah that's macy give macy a hug oh my god i love it it's like our own little macy's bag we've had that oh my god a long time oh i feel bad no feel bad taking him liam wanted you to have it so I, I love this llama, so thank you. <laughs> Did you thank God because I sprayed perfume all over no, it? it does my smell son good. has had it for a while and I'm like, mm, I don't good. want it to stink, but no, yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the real one? Well I mean you know the real one from the movie. I mean the real yeah. one, the real prop from the movie. Right. I'm not sure. Don't look at her eyes. Too late. <laughs> This is what we do when uh, we can't get Kelsey here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam, meet Pedro. Yes, that is a real human shrunken head from, what, the 1920s or so? That's that's crazy. And supposedly this was a wedding gift? Yeah, it was a wedding gift. It was our honeymoon, our anniversary. Uh -huh. um, last month, my buddy's a uh, mortician. And I'd been joking with them that I wanted to It's moving the in there. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, you just hit, yeah, you I, just hit the table. If I shake this table, that would be <laughs> It's yeah. gave me a heart attack. Okay, I didn't really get to film a whole lot. Maybe <laughs> Tiffany grabbed a couple pictures, but we had a line at one point all the way from there. And, I mean, it, it got shorter and shorter. I felt bad for Josh and Elton. Like, they, their lines were probably a little bit bigger than mine. Like, theirs went way back i mean it was no your line was pretty big oh maybe they were just equal yours was huge omar was it yeah. i think you're just being modest your maybe. line was massive hey, i had so much fun meeting and talking to people and them sharing stories with me i mean it was look i got this llama like this is a macy somebody Kristen. her name's Kristen, and she shared this llama with me from liam so big shout out to them thank you liam for my llama i love my llama and, and he smells so good want to smell my llama Fantastic. Smells good, right? Yeah. Okay, wait, it actually does smell good. I thought he was good. talking. Yeah. I thought he was talking something. No, yeah. no, it does smell she good. She sprayed all over. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She just wanted to hug her. I was like, you smell like the llama. <laughs> She's like, I did it just for you, Omar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to, my hair is like. <laughs> I didn't really get a chance to walk around and see some of the stuff going on, but there's people that have haunted locations here. 
I did get to meet some of them, not all of them. I think they're like 20 minutes away from closing. I'm gonna try to walk around and show you what's going on here since, you know, I don't have anybody waiting at my table anymore. But there's a lot of new people. Like that guy was from Children of the Corn and he was right next to me. Okay, this is where I was earlier. There's the human head, shrunken head. Hey, how are you guys? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. So this is the one that he gave Oh, I saw that. He's yeah, so, really so, nice. so this is where people have been getting. He legit stuff. says he blacks out and he creates this art and it just like comes to him. Whoa. Yeah, it's like meditation for Yeah, me. isn't that freaking crazy? Look at this. He does this all himself. Wow. So one of our fans brought one of those pictures for me to sign. And oh, I really? felt, I felt bad even like Signing putting anything on. <laughs> He's yeah, like, really? Yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you. This is amazing, wow. man. Great job. Here, here's, some, here's some free prints for you. Oh, thank you, man. My card thank is you. in here as well. Appreciate it. I even got your signature, bro. Thank you. <laughs> what? Heck yeah. yeah. Amazing. All right, fam. So, unfortunately, there wasn't much to see when I was going to take you around to the tables. Everybody was kind of packing up and leaving. And we ended up being the people that kind of stayed behind a little bit and just kind of chit-chatting. Or whatnot but ended up leaving and we had a great time met up with uh elton and exploring with josh kalani i wish i would have vlogged a little bit more but i mean we were just like having fun without cameras and just kind of enjoying being with each other as fellow content creators i also played some poker which i have not played in a really really long time and i had a blast and no i did not lose money i'm not a gambler but i love playing poker poker's a lot of fun i'm gonna miss connecticut i'm gonna miss being up north especially this beautiful scenery as a floridian we don't really have a beautiful autumn like this we have some trees i believe we have like some maples and sycamores that change colors but nothing quite like this this is just breathtaking and it was actually weird because it was in the 70s and 80s the whole time we were up here even though it was just a few days it was yeah it was actually pretty warm but today is the first day that it's cold we're gonna leave go back home and I'm just, wow, I'm just going to take it in as we drive back to Florida. I miss my animals. So we got to get back in a hurry. So I didn't want to vlog like, I mean, obviously we did a lot of driving, but Driving can be really boring, and I really didn't see a whole lot of interesting things to vlog about while driving, especially during the nighttime, because it like, takes like two days to drive where we drove. However, I did see something interesting right here. I never seen this huge iPad looking deal. This is like the most futuristic gas station I've ever been to. This is really cool. Hi there. Our fam just got back home. Ah, oh, dogs are really happy. They seem to be like they're in a pretty good mood. <laughs> it's a joy, baby. Casey missed my video about our new golden doodle, Daisy. Ow! She's amazing. I got her as a rescue. I was looking for a little friend for Luna, and she happens to be a golden doodle. Um, I was unaware of the health problems that she came with. She's a completely different dog now. She was very lethargic. She was losing weight at a rapid pace. And I'm happy to report that she's about 10 pounds up now from the weight two weeks ago. So, I mean, that's really good progress. I'm not gonna get into the story of what she has. It is something that can be fatal. If you do have a dog that is vomiting quite often, can't keep food down, can't keep water down, go watch that video. They may have the same health condition that Daisy has. It's very important to get them looked at. Hi, your party girl. Did you miss daddy? Did you miss daddy? Luna missed daddy. You wanna go eat the ball? Go get the ball. <laughs> what? Luna's not letting you play fetch. Oh my God. She is so freaking playful. Oh my God, look at this. You just bite me like crazy. So I have a bunch of fan mail. The folks over at the post office, they've been bugging me for a couple weeks to pick this stuff up. Uh, Yeah, we have quite a bit of fan mail. All right, fam, so we are in the office. This is my brand new workspace under construction, if you will, but I have the base of it set up and I'm very happy with it. I've always wanted a setup like this. It's a small space, so I had to be smart with how 
and where I position things. And plus I still want to have a nice big space behind me if my dogs are in here wanting to play. And yes, that is some YouTube play buttons back there. I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna hang them up, but I don't know, we'll see. First piece of mail. This is from The Colony Shields. Shields All Sports. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Sometimes companies do send us stuff just so then we can kind of show their stuff off. Very smart marketing. But hey, I'll take some free stuff. I'm not gonna complain. By the way, you may hear my dogs playing in the background. Just saying. Ugh. No way. Somebody sent me some Jordans? Okay, like, I mean, I love the color, not gonna lie. What kind of Jordans are these? Jordan 10s, maybe? If I had to guess. All right, these shoes look really futuristic. Got a zipper right there in the front. I'm not sure who sent me these. There's really not a name. I mean, if it was the company, thank you so much. I don't know if I would use these out on the Safe Haven Ranch. They might get full of Mona poopy, <laughs> but I don't know. I'll definitely find some use for them. Uh, thank you. Wow, like I, I I'm kind of speechless. All right, let me know here in the comments what kind of Jordans these are. I'm not much of a sneakerhead. Oh, wait, it says here, Bright Crimson Black Vault Cremosi. Jordan, why not six? Oh, so they're Jordan sixes. Okay. Only Jordans I know are like the, you know, the twos and like, you know, the first bit of Jordans that came out and the most popular, I think it's the Jordan fours that all the kids are wearing. We had to get Boston some because he like loved them. I believe it was the fours. Maybe it was the threes. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, this is what kind of Jordans I wear right here at Safe Haven Ranch. I'm surprised there wasn't any poopy on them shoes. Thank you so much, the Colony Shields, for providing these awesome pair of Jordans in one of my favorite colors ever. Well, you know what? I don't were those orange or red? Let me know here in the comments. Orange or red? I would have to... S Maybe it's the yellow that's throwing me off. I think orange. Not sure what this is. It says tamper evident tape. It doesn't have a name. Always get nervous with some of these packages that don't have names. What is this? Oh! It's my checks. I've been waiting for these. Sorry, that wasn't fan mail. <sighs> this is from Chenault Carol. It says, Fragile, handle with care. Oh, what is this? No freaking way, somebody made this? Oh my God, this is so cool. So that's a Spider-Man, like this is, Look, this is not, oh, a Venom mask? Bro, this is cool. I'm gonna go ghost hunting in these. Bro, this is so cool. What is this? Oh my gosh. All right, I know a lot of you big Spider-Man fans. Do you like Venom or do you like Spider-Man? I, I mean, I love them both, but let's be honest here, man. Like, Venom is kind of cool. I mean, like, look at this mask. Whoa, can I actually tie this on? This is heavy duty. This is like a crazy paper mache. Wow, it smells good too. Okay, look, I could tie it around my head. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, that is sick. Whoever made this? I gotta show that to Boston. All right. And there's some, uh, some towels. Towels and bags are all hand sewn from towels from Carol. Uh, okay, these are for, for Tiffany and Boston. Oh, look at these little bags for Boston. That's so cool. Wow, you are very talented. Look at that. Free spirit, got a little teddy bear on there. Wow, whoa, this fits me perfectly. All right, I'm having some issues here, keeping this on. Maybe my head's just too big. Dear Omar, my daughter and I have been watching you for years. We love seeing your relationship with family, but we also love the scary stuff too. We love Tiff. We've seen your clown cottage and thought you would like these masks. They're handmade from cardboard, paper, glue, spackle, and paint. I took about one to two weeks to make? What? So sorry about your loss. By the way, my daughter's name is Tiffany. The mask can break very easily if dropped. Okay, so we will not drop these masks. 
please if there's any damage from delivery please don't hesitate i'm so proud that i could give these to you hope to see them on youtube hey carol they on youtube what look at this mess this is so cool how talented are you okay i have to figure out a way to keep this on my head uh, it's gonna take a little practice this i don't know why like i just wow I love the Venom mask. I'm gonna have to wear this tonight. Carol, thank you so, so much. I absolutely love the mask. Thank you for taking the time to make them for us. I can't wait to share them with Boston. I'm kind of sad that Halloween passed and I'm just now seeing these. I, I totally would have rolled with either Spy. Actually, I would have rolled with both. I would have had Spider-Man on one side, Venom on the back, something like that. These are beautiful. Thank you so, so much. By the way, something really creeped the hell out of me last night and you're just gonna have to wait till the video. Something that I saw in my backyard and I caught it on video, I'm pretty sure there's a creature that I have never seen in my life living in my backyard. And I caught him on camera. Yeah, and it's not Venom, but it looks like Venom, maybe. I don't know, I just, I can't describe it. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow or maybe the next day to share the video with you, so hang tight. It's gonna be a great video. Cat's Ceramic Studio? Okay. I don't know what this is. If I had to guess, maybe it's a cat. A ceramic cat? I don't know. Could be a letter. Hmm. Here's a card. Cat Ceramic Studio. If you want to give them a call and tell them that they were on YouTube. There's more. I watch your YouTube channel all the time. It broke my heart when your Mary or Macy, I'm sorry, passed away. So I made you a stone for her. It's painted in acrylic paint, so if it fades, you can repaint or send it back to me and I'll repaint. Aw, thank you, Kathy. I don't even know what this is, but it's something that's connected to Macy. If you're new to watching my videos, maybe you missed a couple videos before. I had this beautiful llama that I bottle fed with Tiffany as a baby. We had her for a long time and she was just like a little adolescent llama and she just one day dropped dead and called my vet my vet said that it's common i guess for that time type of year because of the heat and we had a pretty brutal summer it broke my heart i wish there was more that i could have done and i'm learning from it i do want to have better ways to cool my animals off for the next summer so i have some ideas i'm going to build another lean to with some fans and some misters because I don't want to lose another animal like Macy was don't tell the other animals but she was my favorite I mean I was heartbroken when she passed away everybody was heartbroken so yeah thank you Kathy oh, this is packaged really well It's a little headstone for Macy. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. No longer by my side, forever in my heart. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Oh my God, I love this. Oh. I almost wish I could put that llama that I got from our friend Kristen at the Warren Paracon event with this, but oh no, it's, of course it's made of fabric and it, can get messed up in the rain and plus my dogs might play with it but this is this is perfect i'm wondering if i can have this outside though kathy if you're watching this is this safe to put like is that what it's for is this actual like little grave that i can put for macy or should i leave this like in the house i would hate to have this outside and it get trampled or ruined by my animals uh, i almost just love just having this just oh Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I, I love this. This is from Joy Ann Wesson from Prescott, Prescott Valley, Arizona. I've been to Arizona before. It's really hot. Whoa, what is this? Is this a blanket? Wow, this is cool. It's like a farm blanket. Whoa, I love it. Thank you so much. I need some little blankets like this for around the house. Look at that, I love it. What is this? It's like a little chicken towel. And it's got all the different chickens on there. Yeah, got a Bucky's casino mask. Hello, Omar and Tiff. 
Greetings from Arizona. I live in Prescott, like the magnet I got you. Oh, you got us a magnet, okay. The stuff is for your house. Love your videos. To Boston, the scorpion is yours if you want it. Ooh. This, oh, this is cool. Look, it said the Safe Haven Ranch. What? This is awesome. Thank you, Joanne. Wow. I. I feel so spoiled right now. You know, uh, this is like an early Christmas because we just got into our house and our house is pretty empty, so it, it's nice. We do need some decorations. Oh, supposedly Joanne's husband passed away December 2nd of 2022. Now I don't work and I have more time, so. You know, this is crazy that somebody that's going through their own tragedies are there to offer you comfort. She's there. Of course, saying sorry about your losses with your cousin and your mom. And, you know, I just want to, I just want to also return some love to you and let you know that I'm thinking of you during this tough loss. I know it happened last year and we're probably going on a year already, but it's, it's still probably pretty fresh. And I want you to know that it's going to be hard. It's, you still have a long way to heal, but you're doing great. And I'm sure there's not a lot of people that are there to tell you that and give you a pat on the back and let you know that what you went through is probably one of the, it is the hardest thing ever. But just hang in there. We love you so much, Joanne. What is this? This is so cool. All these cool decorations. Thank you. That is Prescott, Arizona, in case you're wondering. Here's Boston Scorpion. Supposedly it glows in the dark. <laughs> this is awesome. Welcome to the fun house for the clown cottage. This is from Amanda Lewis from Louisville, Kentucky. I love this. It says keep up. I would say maybe keep up the good work. And then we love you. We love you too. <laughs> what? Are these? No freaking way. What? What? <laughs> These are like poker chips and they have my mom's face on them. This is one of the sweetest things ever right here. On the back it says, give me a kiss. Love mom. Aww. These are so cool. Wow. You know what's funny? Is I played poker at the casino that we were at and I had so much fun. And that just like reminded me of that. I hadn't played poker in such a long time. Oh, this is so colorful. Hi, Omar and Tiffany. I'm the fam that made all y'all's names with yarn. Oh, okay. I have watched you many years. You and your family helped me through my breast cancer 10-year fight. Whoa. With your love and strength, we made it. Tiff had mentioned getting casino chips for your mom. I watched many videos before. I picked this I picked this pick. It's the one right before you gave her the glass light with grandma etched in glass. It felt perfect. I hope you like them. I don't like them. I love them. I'm going to have to have like a poker night where we use these poker chips. And maybe this is like a thousand dollars worth of, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, not really playing for real money, but just having fun. Poker's fun. Amanda Lewis, thank you so, so much. I don't know how you did this, but it is absolutely perfect, beautiful. I love them. I love that my mom's face is on these chips. This is, this is beautiful. I'm so, so happy you got to kick cancer's ass. Thank you again. This is from a good friend of mine, Mariela, from Alabama, Rainbow City, Alabama. Whoa, what is this? Aw, to your niece's caregiver. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, if you didn't know, I have a niece that has autism and my mom's partner is taking care of her and she does an amazing job. So this is going to Maida. What's in it? Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna give it to Maida. Whoa, no way. Christmas did come early. This is so cute. Thank you so much, Mariela. Okay. Something for Tiffany. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna wait, give that to Tiffany. Aw, what is this? Oh wow, it's like some essential oils. Oh, this is so nice. 
but it says you got this and I don't know who is watching this video right now that maybe is struggling through something just want you to know you got this Bam! Mariela thank you so much I love little positive affirmations like that what is this cool no freaking way what is this I'm gonna try not to cut myself I think this looks like a weapon I'm gonna try to open it right here. Oh, it's a freaking knife bracelet. Bro, this is so cool. What the heck? Oh, does this fit? This has to fit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Like just bam. Got a little knife just hiding out. Love it. Sweet. Can't go ghost hunting without protection. This must be some protection here. This is holy water. Whoa. And then Mary Magdalene Nard. And then Myrrh. This is one of the gifts to baby Jesus, if I'm not mistaken. And some amber straight from Jerusalem. Wow, how cool is that? Thank you so, so much. Okay, this is from Printed Just For You. Hmm. Look at that. The day I lost you, I also lost me. I've been trying to find myself again, but it's hard. It's hard because you were a huge part of my life. Not having you here is so painful. I'm just not me anymore. I miss you so much. Marta Escobar. Aww. I think who sent this to me was someone, a really good friend of mine, that also lost somebody close to them because they messaged me and said that they were sending me a hoodie. And it uh, just goes back to what I was mentioning, how people that are hurting themselves are probably one of the first ones to take you under their wing and let you know that you're not alone. And I want you to know that if there's anybody out there right now going through a loss, you're not alone. We're all suffering with you and we stick together. So rest in peace, mom. Rest in peace, my cousin Melissa, my friend William that passed away recently too. And big shout out to everyone watching this video right now that is dealing with a loss or maybe a past loss that has been really hard to deal with even a long period of time. I'll tell you what, it is one of the hardest things ever, losing your parents. Oh, something else for Macy. This is so cute. Look at this. And it shows like the little rainbow and the clouds and... I don't know what that says here. It says when an animal dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to the Rainbow Bridge. Okay, so it's about the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, that's my little Macy. This is so cute. Aww. Hello, Omar. My name is Don, and my wife is Margaret. She told me about your loss of Macy. She asked me to print this memorial plaque for you. She had found this picture and wanted me to attach... The Rainbow Bridge poem. I came up with the coffee cup. Sorry for the low quality of the trees. It's all I had to work with as an extra thank you. You can cherish it on a mantle or sit with Macy and enjoy your morning beverage with her. Oh, Dawn and Marge, thank you so much. There's even a little picture of Macy on the card. You guys are the best. Oh, cool. This is awesome. Man, what? This is awesome. I actually need a coffee mug. I will definitely be using this. I love you, Macy. All right, this is Don's print business, the one that just did that stuff. If you guys want to give him a call or maybe even just shoot him an email and tell him thank you for making your favorite YouTuber happy today. He does custom license plates, tumblers, air fresheners, rock slate photos, which I think that's probably what that was. Beautiful job, Don and Marge. We love you so much. That was very beautiful. All right. I don't know how to thank you. Every time I drink a cup of coffee, I'm just going to be thanking you guys. Thank you, Don and Marge. We got one more big package. And this is from my friend Mariela again. She sent two. All right. It's a backpack. And it's full of stuff. It smells good. I smell powder. Ooh. A little hand sanitizer. What? No way. What is all this? This is amazing. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Another coffee mug. I need these. Oh, 
lavender soap. There's just so much cool stuff in here. Damn, thank you so much, Mariela. I love backpacks, by the way, too. I think I like the backpack more than anything. Also got some books for my niece. Thank you so, so much. If you ever want to send us something in the future to include here in a video, I have a PO box down in the description below. You can send a postcard, you could send a letter, a drawing, whatever you like. And we're absolutely thankful for everything, including you just being here and sharing your time with us. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.